Meeting is getting ready to be recorded uh, for those who might not be able to attend. All right, well, welcome everybody to this virtual community meeting uh, regarding the upcoming Hanley and Central Meadowbrook Area Street Reconstruction Project Phase 2. Uh, my name is Greg Robbins. I'm Project Manager with the City of Fort Worth Transportation and Public Works Department. On the call as well are representatives from Fort Worth Water Department, uh, our engineering consultant, the contractor, uh, our construction inspector, others from our construction office, and others from other departments in PPW. So they'll be around uh, after the call, after the presentation is over, to help answer questions if you have any. Uh, with us as well, of course, is uh, Councilwoman Bivens. Thank you, Ms. Bivens, for taking the time to attend this meeting. Is there anything you'd like to say to everybody before we get started? Absolutely. I am delighted that staff has taken time out of your busy schedules, often away from your family, to accommodate the public. And I don't know how many members of the public will have on the call, but I also want to thank you for recording this call and I can make it available to key stakeholders after the recording is done. But again, thank you for your time being here. Thank you for sharing information and I love seeing construction cones. So take it away and you'll see me go invisible. All right, thank you, Ms. Bivens. All right, so the, this presentation is meant to provide you with uh, some information about the scope of the project that's happening in your area and give you, the community, some information, uh, some information about the scope and what to expect and give you a chance to ask questions about the project and, uh, you know, how you're going to be impacted. So here's the agenda that I'm hoping to cover in my uh, brief presentation. I'll talk about the project as a whole. Um, providing a summary of the improvements for each street associated with the project. I will uh, discuss the expected schedule uh, moving forward, and at the very end, I'm going to block off some time for some questions and, and your input. So first, we'll talk about the overall scope of the, the improvements associated with the project. So you can see from this map, there are uh, 10 areas that will undergo construction as part of this contract. So it's a fairly large con contract. Uh, so, they are um, Craig Street, um, so I'll, I'll, I guess I'll go in order here. Number one here is the alley between uh, Louis Street and, uh, and um, Malcolm Street uh, off of Church, so that's the first place we're going to be doing some improvements. Um, a little bit of uh, improvements here on Church Street between Lewis and this alley. Um, Craig Street, this portion mm -hmm. from uh, Loop 820 over to Louis Street. Uh, Cravens Road, which is up here. Uh, from Greenlee to Meadowbrook Drive. Uh, number six is uh, Halbert Street from Church Street to Route. Uh, number seven is also Halbert Street, and it's going from Craig all the way up to Beatty. We have Hightower Street over here, number eight. It's Grandview Drive to Weiler. Uh, Louise Street, which is number nine right here. Um, so from Craig Street all the way down to Lancaster. And finally, Major Street over here uh, off of Craig. So that's Craig Street to Route Street, and there is a little tiny portion that actually extends north into that part of Major 2. So the majority of this project is being funded by the, the bond program that was passed in 2018, and it provided money for dozens of street reconstruction projects and other projects around the city of Fort Worth. Um, other projects, uh, other streets in this uh, project are being funded by the Fort Worth Water Department. So on the next few slides, I'll discuss the existing conditions uh, present on these streets and give you a street-by-street -street breakdown of uh, the proposed improvements on each street. So this slide shows the existing conditions of these streets. I went out and, and, and took pictures. I think the pictures are pretty self-explanatory. Um, you can see from these pictures that we will be correcting uh, damaged asphalt pavement where it's rutted or broken or cracked, uh, places where we're missing uh, Curb and gutter, we'll, we'll be replacing it, or we'll be adding new curb and gutter, I should say. Places that have existing curb and gutter, we'll be getting their curb and gutter replaced. Uh, places where we're, we have damage or missing sidewalks will be improved. Um, damage or missing uh, driveways will be improved, um, as well as the water and sewer utilities under the street that either need to be replaced or upsized. So next, I'll go through each individual street and discuss the improvements that are expected to be made. All right, so here's the uh, summary of improvements for Craig Street. This is uh, from Halbert to, uh, to Major. I'm sorry, this is Hanley to Major. Um, so for that street, we'll be upgrading the existing six-inch water to an eight-inch, uh, 
upgrading the existing six inch sewer to 10 inch. We'll also be providing new asphalt pavement with new concrete curb and gutters, new uh, concrete driveways at an 11 foot minimum width or matching what's out there currently. And also a <laughs> new uh, five foot uh, wide concrete sidewalk on one side of the street. Uh, for Halbert Street, this section is from Craig to Beatty. We'll be uh, upgrading the existing 6-inch water to an 8-inch, uh, upgrading the existing 6-inch uh, sewer to 8-inch. For paving improvements, new asphalt pavement, new concrete curb and gutters, uh, similar to the other streets, uh, new concrete driveways, 11-foot minimum width or matching your existing width. And uh, Halbert Street from Craig to Beatty uh, gets sidewalk on both sides of the road. The other section of Halbert from Ralph Church will be upgrading the existing six inch water to eight inch. Um, as for paving improvements, similar to the other streets, asphalt pavement, concrete curb and gutters, driveways, and uh, five, foot, five foot wide concrete sidewalks. And on this section of Halbert, uh, we're getting sidewalk on one side of the street. For Cravens Road, uh, we're replacing the existing eight inch water. Um, we're also upgrading the existing six inch sewer to eight inch. Uh, similar paving improvements, asphalt pavement, concrete curbs and gutters, new driveways, and new, uh, new sidewalks uh, on one side of the street on Cravens. For Hightower Street, uh, we'll be upgrading the existing four inch water to an eight inch. Uh, also, uh, new asphalt pavement, concrete curbs and gutters, new driveways, and uh, new sidewalks, five foot wide sidewalks on both sides of the street. Uh, major Street, so we're upgrading the existing 6-inch water to an 8-inch, and that's from Route to Craig, so that's this uh, southern portion here. We'll re be replacing the 8-inch eight eight inch sewer, Craig toward Beatty, and that's the small piece of sewer that I talked about coming up into, uh, into Major, uh, just north of Craig. It doesn't go all the way to Beatty, but it goes up to about this first curve in the street. Uh, we'll also be upgrading the existing 6-inch uh, sewer to an 8-inch from Route to Craig, so that's this part uh, on the southern portion. Uh, paving improvements uh, on Craig toward Beatty, they're going to be replacing the existing, uh, replacing the existing pavement uh, as well. Uh, this section on, on Church Street and Louis, on, uh, and Louis Street uh, will be installing a new 8-inch sewer to connect to a new sewer that's going in in Lancaster, and also uh, repairing the concrete pavement in Church Street that will be disturbing uh, with the sewer improvements. Uh, for this section of Craig Street, this is the section of Craig Street on the west end over by Loop 820. Um, we'll be installing a new 10-inch uh, sanitary sewer to connect to uh, I, uh, 820 and Lancaster here at the south along Craig Street and Louis Street, and also uh, repairing the asphalt pavement in Louis Street. Uh, they said on Craig Street, I mean on Louis Street and Church Street, they 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 replacing the, all of the 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 the, the, uh, the plumbing the. Uh, yeah, you know the drains. Uh, the the sanitary sewer on Louis Street. Okay. All right. So that that concludes the summary of each street and the improvements that we're going to make. So now we're going to speak a little bit on the uh, general construction phasing and the expected schedule for construction. So these next couple of slides show our typical construction phasing for each street and what you can expect to see out there as the, uh, as the construction progresses. So first we're going to start with uh, installing the underground utilities, the water and sewer pipes. So this includes, and this does include water and sewer service connections to your lot. Uh, so as you can see from the picture, it involves trench excavations, uh, place the pipe below the street. Once it's installed, the contractor will place a temporary pavement repair over the pipe to allow the surface to be drivable again. And so it'll look something like this third picture once we are done with the utility construction. So it'll provide a temporary drivable surface until we're ready to come back and actually pave the street. So after the utilities are in place, the contractor will begin the flat work portion of the project, which includes removing and replacing the curb and gutter, uh, the sidewalk, and the driveways. Um, so you'll see here they will excavate uh, any existing curb that's out there. Uh, they'll take it all out and they'll start framing up and placing the new curbs and any, any driveways that we replace during the course of construction will be replaced at this time as well. 
and then um, finally the uh, the the existing uh, street will be demoed after that. So the final phase of construction is: Do we prepare the subgrade to make sure it's stabilized and ready to bear traffic load? And uh, once that complete, we we pave it, and uh, and the roadway will be open. Uh, after that, there'll just be some cleanup items such as uh, topsoil and sod that need to be added and cleaned up to make the street look nice, and then the, the construction will be done. So you can see the construction kind of proceeds in phases. Um, the contractor will come through uh, and do all the utilities first. And then that crew will move on to another street. And then the flat work crews, the concrete crews, will come in and do their work. And when they're done, they'll move on to the next street. And finally, the paving crew will come in and pave the road. So that's kind of the phasing that you should expect to see during construction. Um, so these pictures give you an idea, um, sort of like the other other uh, slides. They kind of give you an idea of what to expect the new streets to look like. So you you know you'll expect. New asphalt paving, uh, nice new concrete curves and gutters, uh, new concrete driveways, uh, new, uh, nice new concrete sidewalks, as well as new ADA uh, wheelchair ramps where they're needed. So let's talk briefly about the upcoming schedule. This is the tentative schedule provided to me by the contractor and represents their current estimate as to the time frame and order of the street construction. The contractor is expecting to move on to site. Um, we're actually expecting to start this on Monday. They'll start mobilizing the site, start getting things ready uh, for construction. Uh, the contractor is expecting to move first into High Tower Street, uh, one of the shorter streets on the project, but they're going to move in there in there first and get started. And after that, they're planning to move to Cravens, and then finally to the chunk of streets that are there around uh, Luis and Church, so that uh, area over by Lancaster and Loop Bay 20. Finally, uh, they'll move into the, the chunk of streets that are all there together, Craig Street, Halber Street, and Major Street. Since all these are kind of con together, you can expect them to, to sort of do them all at once. Now, you'll notice that the, uh, the schedule for these streets do overlap somewhat, and that is, that's because of what I mentioned earlier about the phasing. So um, the utility contractor will come through first, and they'll start uh, uh, High Tower or Cravens, and they'll do their work there, and then they'll move to the next street. And so while that's going on, uh, while they move to the next street, the next contractor will come in and start their work on the street. So the, it, it's just a, a, a forward moving process where one contractor moves from one street to the next to the next, and then the next contractor with their specialty moves on from that street on and so on until the project is complete. So we, uh, this project, is a total of 485 calendar days. So that will start from when they get started uh, working on November 8th. And that puts our, uh, our approximate date of completion for all the streets at approximately March 9th, 2023. So we've come to the end of the presentation. Um, that's all that I had as far as, as information uh, that I wanted to convey to you. If, so if you have any questions or comments, now's the time that we can we can discuss them. And uh, go ahead, Jeff, if we want to either open the phones or if we have any questions in chat, we can take. Uh, there's nothing in chat yet, so uh, okay. if anyone there uh, has questions, uh, feel, feel, feel free to unmute yourself one at a time uh, or put it in the chat either way. Uh, yes. Hi. Um, I got a question. Um, so I live right here on the on the side of uh, Craig and Halbert. And um, okay. so on, on this side, we're looking to be all this project to be done like around the in in March, right? Because that's gonna be the last last uh project for the for y'all. So as of right now, uh, the way the schedule is shown, and please understand that it is it is a tentative a schedule and things. Things do change, but this is what we're expecting at this time. But yes, let me go back to the, let me go back to slides. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so they're planning on starting that that chunk of streets. So uh, Craig Street, the two the two rows in Halbert, or the two sections of Halbert and Major Street, uh, somewhere starting January of next year and going going until March of 2023. Now that doesn't mean that your particular street 
or in front of your particular house is going to be under construction for an entire year. Um, like I said, it'll be phased. The contract will move, uh, uh, go come to the utilities and you know move past your house in a, in a in a timely fashion and then once the next crew is ready they'll come in and do their work and then and so on until the road is complete okay that sounds good and um another question was too um i got two driveways um is there a way i could um add the asphalt all the way to my towards my home i maybe i got like a 20 by 20 uh carport okay it's, so um, our improvements only extend to the uh, to the right of way line. So the the the, the publicly owned property, um, we don't uh, we don't make improvements past that. So that's as far as oh, our okay. driveway is extended. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. Um, that'll be it for me. Thanks. I'll add to that real quick. If you do, this, my name is Justin Blair with McClendon Construction. If you do want to do additional work uh, beyond what the city's doing. Uh, mm -hmm. And if that's something that we can do for you, we may be may be able to work uh, work something out where we can do that while we're there. Um, kind of have you just interrupted at one time. So uh, once you get our notice, you can reach out to our office, and then we can coordinate that and see if we can make that work. Okay, that sounds good to me. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Justin. <clears throat> Greg, it looks like Mr. Sims is having some uh, audio issues. He can't phone in and, and speak. Uh, okay. That's coming in on the chat, so. Okay. Um, Mr. Sims, if you can, if you can hear me, um, go ahead and type your question in the chat. And I will, I will try to answer the best I can. Which side of Craig Street will have a sidewalk from Hadley to East? So, <clears throat> excuse me. Craig Street is going to, so it'll have one, uh, a sidewalk on one side of the road, but it does switch sides um, midway through the street. I believe, hold on, I have my plan set open here. So it'll start on the south side of the road at Hanley. Uh, so it'll be uh, from starting at Hanley going east, it'll be on the south side of the road, and then it'll switch over at Hunter Street and uh, be on the other side and be on the north side of the road. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You did say uh, the the sidewalks will be uh, four feet wide, correct? Uh, five feet wide, uh, where we can. There, I believe there's a couple places where we can only fit a four foot, but for the most part, it's going to be five foot wide sidewalks. Okay. So um, from the street curve towards my house, uh, you know how it has a little piece of a uh, a grass. You know how far mm -hmm. from the how far how wide that's going to be. You're unmuted. Try that. I hear you, Mr. Sims. Okay. Mr. Sims, oh, here we are. Greg. Uh, oh. Okay. You oh, hold on just a second, Ms. Ms. Sims. I'm, an I'm answering another question real fast. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. We're having, uh, as usual, trouble with your setups. Okay. I'll, I will get to you in just one second. Um, I'm sorry. So, uh, sir, where, where is your uh, property? On Halbert Street. Halbert. Okay. Sorry, I'm going through my, my plans right here. I'm gonna make sure I'm telling you the right thing. What you what you all right? So it looks like the sidewalk is approximately four feet from the curb. Okay, four feet, okay. All righty, that's that's it for me. Thank you. Okay. All right, Mrs. Sims. Okay. Uh, yes. Good morning, Greg. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. 
you never spoke to the number of trees being destroyed on Creek so, Street. So, I, I don't know the exact number, but there are trees that will have to be removed uh, for us to be able to, to to complete our construction. Either they are in in the existing curb line or where that, I'm sorry, in the proposed curb line where the new curb is going to go, or uh, they will have to be removed to, to make room for a sidewalk. But all the trees that uh, that will be removed will be double checked by the city forester before we remove them to make sure that's really necessary for them to be removed or if they can be saved in any way. So you don't have a final number of how many trees? Uh, I, I do. It's not right in front of me at the moment. Okay, okay. And then I have a, a question for Ms. Bibbins. Ms. Bibbins, are you still there? No, nope, she signed off. She signed off? Yes. She's not there. Hello? Gregory? I don't believe, she, I don't believe she's still here, man. It has Ms. Bibbins left? I believe so. Oh, right. I was just going to ask her, since she, she lives here in the city and you don't, uh, about our trash pickup, how she sees our trash being picked up with all this construction going on, but I know we've spoken about that before. So that's a hopeless situation. Uh, and again, I know we spoke yesterday about the numbers and the names of these people that are gonna be doing all this construction work. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, you have our name, our number, our address, we're paying the, we're footing the bills here. And you're destroying our lives for two years. I, I, I don't have any faith in these start and stop dates on this construction. You're going to have us disrupted for probably two years, basically. I mean, let's face it. And and we, we don't we don't have any way of contacting these people. I know you told me the whatever it was, the contractors. What would you call him? The guy that the I'm inspector. Saying, yes, I have no the faith inspector. in getting getting a hold of these people. I wish I could get names and numbers because i know what's going to happen and this would really ha head off a lot of problems i like to head off problems ahead of time i know we're not going to be able to get in touch with people when we don't have water and our sewers backed up and it's 10 o'clock at night on a saturday night i know there's not going to be anybody around I well miss sims this is just independent construction i just who, put my who it is? Uh, i'm this. sorry who is it you're going pretty this fast there Okay, that's Justin Blair with McClendon Construction. I just put my name and phone number in the chat that I think y'all have access to. So, where is this? Uh, no, I don't see it. I don't you, see it. Give me, give me just a second, and I, I will. Can, uh, I can I'll give it to you over this as well. Into the presentation, and if I can, oops, we go here to the end. Can everybody see that? No, oh, there you go. Yep. Nope, don't see it. <laughs> do, do you have something to write with? I can give you the phone number. I do. I have paper and pencil here. I'm, All right. I'm, I, I am. What's your name, yes. Justin Blair? Yeah. Justin Blair, yes, ma'am. You're the, with the city, right? No, I'm with the contractor. Oh, you're with uh, McClendon. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Oh, boy. Okay, I'm ready. Our phone number is 817-295-0066. Okay. Now, who's going to answer that number? That is our office line, and if it is after hours, uh, you'll be prompted to push one, and that will be forwarded to whoever is on call for emergencies. Okay. Are y'all currently on a, an, a construction uh, project right now? Uh, yes, ma'am. We have several ongoing projects with the city. Oh, we're, we're in, do you know, the locations offhand? Or? Um, trying to remember now offhand. We've got a few streets going on Parker Henderson Road. Kinley and Sanguinette, Libby and Locke. So kind of kind of all spread out through Fort Worth. Libby and Locke. Oh, okay. Okay, so so if you think I try this number tonight, is it's just a it's yeah. What's your mobile, Mr. Blair? Do you have a mobile or oh we prefer to go through the office and then yeah. push one for emergencies? I'm sure you would. Okay. Hey, I might give that a try tonight and see what happens. How about that? Let's say I'd, I prefer you maybe give it a try this afternoon or, or this morning. That way we're not interrupted in the evening. Oh, really? Well, how about when we come home at night and we can't get in our driveway? What, how With, if, while construction is going, absolutely. I just mean right now. Uh, if you're just testing it out, I'd say test it earlier rather than later. Oh, really? Hmm. 
but yes, if, if there is a problem during construction at any time, um, absolutely call that. Yeah, call your office. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I, I get it. I get it. Yeah, I got you. I get and like it. Like I said, you'll you'll hear a, a recorded message, and it, it'll be prompted to push one. That's our after hours emergency line. Mm -hmm. If you contact Greg or the inspector, you will reach us faster. So if you want to contact the city first with either Greg or the inspector, it will be better to do that. What? If you want to contact someone, if it's emergency, I would suggest you contacting the city first. It will be faster for you to do that. Yeah, what's the city number? They won't give me one. No, you can contact the phone number for Greg or for the inspector. Uh, you can send them a text message uh, or send them an email. And there is another emergency contact number for the city. Edwin, what is the after hour contact for the inspection group? There is another number for the city after hours, and there is someone going to respond to you. It's the office number, 817-392-8306. What number is that, please? That's construction inspection uh, office number. If that one is called after hours, it will it will roll over to the on call uh, after hours phone. There's someone on call all, uh, all through the evening or night. <clears throat> An inspector, of course. Yeah, as, as Mary said, your your first your first phone call uh, should should be to myself and to the inspector. Um, will be the ones that will will handle most issues that come up during construction, or, or or get you to the right person that you need to get to. You mean after hours, Greg? So at the after hours number. Uh, so you can tr you can try calling us, and if you don't get us for whatever reason, you call the city after hours number. The three nine two eight three zero six. And also following up on your question about how many trees would come out currently in the bid proposal, there were about 25 trees called out on the entire project. But it's been our experience lately, as Greg said, we call the forester, they come, we all look at it and see if we really need to remove it or not. Um, so typically that number is reduced during construction. Mr. Brown, you mean the overall, all the streets, on all the streets? Is that what you're on talking all about? all of them, yeah. That's yeah. correct, yes. Mm -hmm. If you had a specific street or location, I could look into that further, but I don't have that information on hand right now. All right, and for anybody and that... Justin, I'm, I'm sorry, Justin, can you talk about the trash backup? I know you have done so many projects, so can you uh, assure me Sam, that we won't have interruption for the trash pickup? Right, that's correct. Yeah, there will be no interruption. Uh, if there is a phase that won't allow the trucks to drive through, what we've typically done is collect the trash and take it down to an intersection or the end of the street where the trucks can get to it, uh, and then we'll bring the trash cans back. Yeah, right. What if you can't? What happens then? What do you mean, what if we can't? What are you going to do? Because those trucks got to get down the street and our side's going to be, say our side of the street's torn up. Oh, right, that's what I'm saying. If the truck can't get down the street, what we'll do is we will, our, our crews will take the trash to a location that the truck can cross the street at a, an intersection or at the end of the project uh, and we'll take the trash there. Yeah, or if, if they're not picking it up, we can take it to our yard as well. Well, let me ask you this. We have to have them out there by 7 o'clock in the morning, you know, for the crews to pick them up 
y'all going to be out here at seven putting our trash out? Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. Typically, our hours are seven to five. But, we, but the city says we have to have them out there by 7 a.m. on the curb. Okay, well, I, they, I'd say at this point, if it becomes an issue, we could talk about it then. Um, but like I said, it has not been an issue on the several projects we've been doing. Because you're going to have, you're going to just have plywood over those, those lines that you're going to dig up. You're just going to have a piece of plywood there. No, that's, that's not correct. What is it? What's going to be over there? Uh, there? There should not be any open trenches. They put the pipe in and backfill the same day. If there are any open trenches, they'll put a metal plate over it. Well, that'll be easy to roll over, I'm sure. Uh, it should be, yes. <laughs> but that, how thick are they? I'm not positive, but uh, half inch to an inch is my guess. Well, I'm 74 years old. I, moving a trash can over that height could probably be interesting. Okay, we'll see. That shouldn't be in your yard. That would just be in the street itself. And again, if, if you have any specific concerns once we do get to your area, uh, please please give us a call and we'll we'll work through those with you. We know we're right in front of your house and we're interrupting your everyday life, so we're pretty sensitive to that stuff. Hello. Oh, I hear you. Hi, good morning. Um, I had two questions about the construction going on. I wanted to know about the um, the street lights. Are we going to be able to have more street lights? So we don't. Uh, we're not making any street light improvements as part of this project. Okay. And then while the construction is going on, where are our cars supposed to be parked? I am on the High Tower Street. Uh, Justin, you want to speak? Yes. That? Yeah, when we're working on your driveway, um, you'd probably just have to park maybe down the street or across the street at your neighbor's if, if that works out. Um, that, that's typically when we get the, the most congestion is when we're doing your driveways for these type of projects. Um, but, but there is an interruption, so you'll just have to find a cross street, the nearest intersection, uh, or like I said, maybe share with a neighbor. Okay, so when you say driveway, are you coming up all the way from the street towards our house, or is it just the street? So um, it goes from the uh, from the curb up into your property line. So typically, that's about twelve to thirteen feet behind the curb in general. Somewhere in the neighborhood of ten, ten to twelve feet, probably. Okay. All righty. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, a question for Mr. Blair. This is Sims again. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. Do you know which side of the street you're going to start on first? Do you have any idea the north, south? Uh, no, I don't. Yeah. Um, no, we we don't schedule that that far out. Kind of once we get there, we'll we'll see if it, either one makes sense. But no, we don't we don't have that specifically. No. Now, if you make a special request, maybe maybe we can do that if needed. No. Well, what about the? I mean, it will be one way out, right? There'll be one way traffic. It's east, you know. It's east and west, so we're going to go one way east till you complete the south side, for example, and then it'll be one way. West or, or west, yeah, when you complete the north side, is that how it's going to go? A little bit one way in and out? No, I don't, I don't recall there being any specific one ways. I would have to double check the traffic control. But I don't uh, think it's, there's not enough room once the you're going to do half at a time, right? Half of the street at a time. No, this is just uh, curb and gutter. So we'll do the curbs along one side, curbs and driveways, and then we'll probably go back and do the other side. So during that time, you have pretty much the entire width of the roadway to use uh, for two-way traffic. And then when the asphalt is being done, that's a much faster process, and it will be the full width of the road. But that's just brief interruptions where you won't be able to drive. Well, what about when they're digging the ditches for the, the utilities? 
that would probably just be one way in the vicinity where they're working. So like I said, the entire width or the entire road length of Craig would not be affected, but say just the few hundred feet that they're working at any given time. Well, what are you going to route us out of different ways around this neighborhood or how, who's, how's that going to be set up? Do you know in advance? I, I don't have that specific detail yet. Like I said, generally, um, we would just kind of flag traffic around the work area. So you can kind of come and go as you please, but then it would just be one way right at the work area. And they would kind of, we would kind of flag you around. Okay. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Um, I had a question in the chat. It says, are we getting sidewalk? Um, so it depends. So yes, uh, depending on which street you're on, you may be getting sidewalk on both sides of the road no, or just said, one side of the road. Yeah, he Griff said. He said if you'll contact me in front of construction, I know on your order. So, but I mean, something we might want to do. I mean, we might have to pay for it, but it makes that lot more. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I see you said you're on Cravens Road. Um, Craven's Road is getting sidewalk on one side of the road. I believe it is the and west side. The trees. Let me check. Uh, yes, Craven's is getting sidewalk on one side. It's currently shown to be on the west side of the road. If I happen to have missed your question, I apologize if you can put it in again so it comes to the end. Or if anybody else has any any other questions that they would like to unmute themselves. Hi, I have one more question. Mm -hmm. So as far as the construction, is it gonna be the whole street plus the sidewalk or is it just gonna be the sidewalk itself? Uh, for For all the streets, It'll be, uh, uh, are, you on, are you on Cravens? I'm on High Tower, High Tower, sorry. High Tower, okay. So High Tower is uh, the streets being reconstructed completely. So you'll get new concrete curbs and gutters, uh, new, new sidewalks. Uh, I think High Tower is getting sidewalk on both sides of the road and new asphalt pavement in the street. Okay, alrighty. Well, thank you guys for your work and you guys have a good day. Thank you. You too, thank you for attending. I have a question on um, Craig and Hunter Street. Okay. Starting at the southwest corner going to east. Um, mm -hmm. As far as multiple driveways, are those going to be where you get to keep the driveways that are currently there? I'm, I'm sorry. I think I missed part of your question. Can you please repeat it? At starting on the southwest corner of Craig and Hunter. Okay. Going to the east. Um, there's multiple driveways. Will those be the existing driveways that are there for each property stay? Uh, I would have to I have to look, but it, we usually if there's an existing driveway, we replace it where it is. Okay. I'll have to check the check your specific lot, but no. like I said, for the most part, if you have an existing driveway that goes to a structure or a parking structure or a parking uh, parking place, then we replace that. Can I email you questions on that, and you could get back with me? Uh, yes, feel free to email me um, uh, if you can see my email address here. Uh, email me any questions that you have, any concerns. Uh, and I'll be happy to to help you out. Okay, I was just wanted to see kind of what the plan was for it. Was all I was looking for. Are you at twenty nine hundred, Hunter? Twenty nine oh one. Twenty nine oh one. Southwest. And then uh, the next house is sixty eight oh eight, Craig Street. 
Looks like on the plans, there's three driveways shown for those two addresses. Does that match up with how many you have? Yes. Okay. It, it appears to be going back as, uh, as you have it, but again, we can follow up on that. Okay. Hey, Justin. Mr. Blair, this is yes. Tim Sims. Can you post your email address, please? Sure. Greg, you have a question in the chat about Cravens. Okay. Uh, Cravens, okay. Uh, your question is the same for Cravens. Um, are you asking, is it the same as for Hightower? If so, then, then yes. So asphalt, uh, streets, sidewalks, driveways, curbs and gutters, everything. Uh, Cra uh, Cravens is getting sidewalk on one side of the street on the west side. One more question on Craig and Hunter. Um, from the southwest corner, going down Hunter Street, there's not any curb. Will you go part way down, or what is? What do you? Uh, on the southwest corner of Hunter and Craig. Yes, sir. Okay, so you're asking whether you're going to get new curves and gutters. On the Hunter Street going south. Okay, I see. So, yes, so we'll be extending the curves and gutters uh, into Hunter Street just a little bit, basically where the curve, the curves, the, the curves of the street goes into yes. Hunter and then that's where they stop. Okay. Hi, one last question for Hightower. Sure. So our streets over here at the moment, they kind of have like if it were on a curve. So our cars tend to be on the side whenever we park by our house. Do you know if it's going to be leveled out whenever they put the concrete? I got that. It's city. It's the city. Yeah, but the inspector. Thanks. Okay, on Hightower. So are you talking? You're talking about the curve uh, has a horizontal. Uh, the street has a horizontal curve. Or like, uh, you know, like a hill. No, like a horizontal curve. Like all the cars oh. when you park in front of the house, like the mm -hmm. cars are sideways. Okay. So the, the, the curve of the road is going to be maintained. We're basically putting the street right back where it was. Just okay. brand new. Okay. Is there a way for you guys to kind of level it out? You mean as in like straighten the street a little bit? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, no. We're we're bound by what the city's uh, where the city's property lines are, and so we need to to stay between them. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. Oh, uh, Greg, uh, Sam, sir, yes, Sam. how do we get a copy of this meeting? So, a, uh, th this meeting is being recorded, and so okay. it'll be placed on the city's YouTube channel. Uh, Jeff, do you have a link to the city's YouTube channel that you could put in the chat? Um, I can get it, and I'll put it in the chat, sure. Yeah. Okay. I believe if you go to YouTube and search for Fort Worth City Hall, I think that's what it is. Yeah, you'll be able to find it. But it, but we'll we'll place the video on YouTube so you can watch it whenever you'd like. Okay. I just I uh I, I just wanted to I just wish Mrs. Bivens had had time to you know be on the this meeting with us a little longer. Uh, since we're in her district, it would have been nice to have her here. Just wanted to mention that.
Okay, thank you, Jeff. I see he posted the link in the chat if everyone can see. Uh, that's how you find the Fort Worth, City of Fort Worth's official YouTube page, and that's where all these videos are posted. Let's see. All right, I don't see any additional questions in chat. Um, does anybody else have any questions on the phone before we uh, conclude the meeting? All right, well, if there's nothing else, I appreciate everyone uh, taking the time to be here, taking time out of your Saturday uh, to be informed about this construction coming up in your neighborhood. Thank you for, thank you for your patience. Thank you for, for, uh, for allowing us to, uh, to do this work for you. And I hope that you're happy with the end product when we get done. So um, my, my contact information is here. Uh, the construction inspectors information is here. Please write it down. Feel free to call me, email me with any sort of question or concern that you have during construction, we'll try to get it worked out. Um, is anybody not able to see the screen that needs me to read out the phone numbers? All right, then. Uh, thank you so much, and I hope everyone has a good rest of your weekend.